Welcome back, guys. We're going into game number three. You're looking at the Sentinel squad. That is Optic Nation. Now tied up 1-1 with Aware Gaming after a dominant performance of Uplink. We're watching Terra Search and Destroy Nation on the hunt first with TP carrying your bomb. Already plays. It's gone down. Sender with the sniper pick, just as you were mentioning, how Sender is uh, pretty talented at sniping on this game. And this map just suits him so well. He's already been featured in one of our top five plays with a nasty double jump snipe. Um, oh, Sender's so good. Side. Yeah, he really is. Huh? Um, something to point out here, in Sender's class for Sniper, he chooses to go with that Sniper with an attachment instead of any EXO abilities. Karma picks up three that round, but can't get the ace. He's going to be cleaned up from the side as a solid defensive start from aware. Let's take a look at our round ending kill camp. This one coming in, I believe it's going to be Accuracy who's going to finish this one out. Excuse me, Facento picks up the shots. And we're going to see a solid start. Karma got three, but it's 1-0 in favor of Aware. And just to give you guys a bit of an update, what is going on elsewhere in the 2K, Team Envious in their second map, of course, they got beat pretty hard in that first half point game. They're up 12-3 to three in the last 24 seconds of that comeback. Sorry, comeback uplink game. I think it's bad to say that one's going to a game three, Chris. Now, we're in the quarterfinals right now, or no, are this we is round three. This is round three. The winner of these games go on into the, uh, the quarterfinals. So this is round of 16. Rise already... Uh, up 1-0 over Envy, but that's probably going game three. We're in game three of this one, and we're going to see Optic Gaming. Were they going to game three, or did they finish that 2-0? Well? Optic Gaming was a Swift 2-0. Well. Swift 2-0, well. all right. So Optic Gaming, Swift. they're in the top eight already locked in. Yes, yeah, so um, if Nation win this, that's the quarterfinal. And Optic when we can, we wanted to get an update on Justice and Elevate. Is that match going down yet? Justice versus Elevate. That's a, ooh, you, you know, that's a really good question because SV versus Prof, that's going on as well. So nothing too crazy happening just yet. Optic Gaming, as I said, that SV through. just destroyed Prof on Hardpoint Biolab, says Simeo the Great. So thank you for that in the chat. Denial, they're still playing. Of course, that Rise Envy going to a game three. Um, TK actually losing to Stunner. Mm. I guess you could say that's uh, a, somewhat of an upset in terms of what we were expecting. So look for FaZe versus Stunner quarter final as well. Uh, we're on board with Karma here as it will be Optic Nation on the attack, aware on defense. And it looks like TP gonna have a tough way getting in. This is accuracy from aware on your screen. You can see him going up against two, picks up one, big help from Happy. And now it's all up to Embos. Embos in a one on two, accuracy and happy, left alive. Accuracy, fantastic start to this game at five and two. And that's gonna be the kill too, so. Nice play coming in from Aware there. Actually did get a lot of help though from Happy. I think he tried to jump up and ended up mantling by accident. But luckily his teammate was there. As you see Happy in your round and then kill cam. No hiding on that porch, man, come on. Two one. Sentinel squad with their work cut out for him. We'll see what Optic Nation's gonna do on the defensive end. Uh, I want to start things off with Karma, see if he's got an answer to the snipe from Center. In fact, I don't see anything from Karma. We're going over to Center, who pulls out the Moors right away, trying to connect on the snipe over at B. Honestly, play is just, I feel whenever a Terrace comes up and you're playing against Center, it's like, well, I'm not even going to try. Yeah, don't, just, just don't, don't double him. jump. Right. <laughs> it's just, it's going to end very, don't put, very badly. Don't put your face in the air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big action go down with the bomb up top. Accuracy beating a one-on-one. -on -one. Happy's going to pick up the kill on Embos at the same time. Happy drop by Proofy. Now Proof now in a one-on-two as this bomb is going down. Sender just needs to stay alive. And there's here, the snipe from Sender. Mind. You ready for this? <laughs> I saw it in the background. I can't wait to see it from Sender's point of view. Here it is, one-on-one -on -one versus Proofy as the bomb was planted. We're not even going to get a chance. Oh, there, here, oh, it here it is. Sender just peeking. And then peek boop bam. See ya. He picked up two straight accuracy on a three kill spree over the last couple rounds. We'll see if they can keep their streaks alive. And right now you have a West line to pull away somewhat. Accuracy six and two. Pacento struggling, of course, playing with a pickup. Not their full team, no lawless for aware today. And I think in the later parts of this tournament that definitely may affect them. You know, if they come up against being you know, in phase, for example, or any other of the top teams in this tournament, I think Lawless really is a, a big impact on this team. Yeah, this would be a totally different series if Optic Nation won that first game. Instead, 
It was aware oh, clutching it up and Facento being part of that. You see Facento picking up the second kill as I switch away. All down to Proofy and TP now. Proofy grabs one. So two on three. Gonna find a second here. Any second. Did he see Sender? I don't think he did. Sender right behind. Shots going down on the opposite end. They're gonna watch as one player is dropped. That was TP out in the open. So all up to Proofy who grabs the bomb. Can't retaliate at range with the ASM one. 4-1 aware running away with this game. Yep. And you got to give him props as well. They're getting those first bloods and really making them count. It always seems to be Optic Nation who are a man down. But for me, Accuracy has really stepped up. We saw him in the respawns struggling a little bit, not going to lie. But 7-3 and three in this search and destroy bucket. That is a, a big performance when his team need him. I'm looking for Aware to finish this one out. Optic Nation looks like they don't have any answer to the aggression from Aware, especially uh, when Sender is leading the way with intro snipes. Does he get an early pick? Nope, pre and doesn't see anything. There is a player already pushed up on the middle of the map and one player flanking. So look out for Facento this round. He could cause some major issues here for Optic Nation. Sender with so much confidence, he's just shooting anyway. He, he doesn't even need to see anyone. He knows exactly where those players are gonna be. Fortunately, didn't get any luck here. And we're actually, with 30 seconds gone, this is the one of the only rounds where we haven't seen a kill in such a long period of time as Carmen desperately trying to hunt a player down. He's going to be underneath him, and Carmen... Tough angle, but he tracks it down. It. And that's Sender as well, so that's a pretty big kill. Now Carmen knows that if that bomb does go down, he doesn't need to check that far side, where you see so many players just sort of hide and with, with their sniper rifle happy. The bomb. Happy! Oh, oh my, my happy! Boosting forward the hip fire into the headshot. Happy getting it done on TP. Now take a fire. No! He turns no! and he burns. Proofy. Happy get the ace. Last man standing is Karma. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do he's it. Oh, oh, he oh, that's Karma says no top fives in my face. And here comes the final kills. Karma desperately going for the stomp bottom middle. Can't get there in time. 5 1 aware running away. They're one round away from advancing to our next round. Happy just single-handedly took matters into his own hands right there. And was like, nope, <laughs> we ain't losing this round, boys and girls. Uh -uh. If he'd have picked up that ace, that would have been top five straight away. Yeah, I'm going to clip it out anyway, because yeah? I was pretty impressed was pretty with that turn on proof. That was, that was pretty nice. I was more impressed with the double jump the, on the TP. Boost, the boost that in. was nasty. Like he, he wasn't wasting any time whatsoever. We're going to be on board with Karma this round, though. Of course, it is five rounds to one in favor yeah. of Aware. Match so. point. Nation cannot afford to drop any other rounds. Nation has to win five straight rounds of Search and Destroy. The one on the attack, not necessarily the easiest. First blood does go to Karma. There's a player right around him. We saw him just a minute ago. Now you can see him in behind. He's going to go down. Now over to Sender, his killer. Pacento picks up two. Last man standing is TP. TP being hunted down by Sender. And there are your shots. TP gets one. Sender's going to fall. Can't TP clutch at 101 versus Happy. Nope. And Happy is going to get your game ending kill. That is going to lock it up 6 1 officially for Aware as they'll move past Optic Nation. Ben, you were right. Even without their fourth, able to take down an ON squad who continues to struggle. Yep. They did a lot better in respawn, though. Yes. I love that, but that S&D was... Prayers for Nation, says the chat. I mean, yeah. A web with a pickup. Just took down Optic Nation. I'm looking for uh, a heart-to-heart -heart from Karma. I'm ready for him to rip this team apart and rebuild them. We're going to go over to a match with Justice. You can see that is slacked on your screen. He's in his round three battle versus Elevate. They are currently playing Biolab, which we just saw. Optic Nation and Aware on, and what a start for Justice up 100 points on your right monitor. That's pretty pretty dominant. Meanwhile, on the left-hand side is that Game 3 from Rise and Envious. And right now, I believe it's Rise who are 2-0 up in Search and Destroy Terrace. That scoreboard not looking good for Envious at all. I think the highest amount of kills there is 1. Meanwhile, Chino 4-0 on that Rise team. That's a pretty dominant performance from, from them. Looking back at that hard point game, though, seems like things are getting a little bit out of hand in that one, too. Justice, 100 point lead. I'm liking it, man. Let's go, Justice. Uh, this is one of the squads I always pick in the Pro League. I just love the way that this team works as a whole squad. You got a set of two duos. They're very selfless players. They're a squad that you're going to see four people all finish with around the same amount of kills. And I, and I like seeing well balanced rosters. Right. That, that That's the key. And. For me, it's it's more surprising because they gelled so well. You know, taking right. two duos from two different teams, you may have some some problems, but 
Not this Justice team at all. They are fully synced and ready to go. They look so good, of course. Uh, we should mention that Aware now will meet Optic Gaming in the first quarterfinal at the very top side of that bracket. Can Aware take down both Optic teams? That's the question for them. You know, I, I would honestly like to stay at the bottom half of the bracket yeah. as we go through here. I think Optic Gaming is a clear favorite to go through the top. I guess um, I'll, uh, yeah, well, but I would love to out see, out like, what's going to happen next round? Does Prophecy get by? Will they end up be playing Justice in that that's, quarterfinal match? Like, what, what kind true. of high caliber matchups are we going to see? I here? mean, if Envy can win this right now, obviously they're at game three. That's on the left hand side of your screens. They and they're down in it. Yeah, they're, they're struggling a lot right now. It's an 0 3 deficit. But the, the winner of that game, of Envy versus Rise, will play Denial. So that's a quarterfinal game to keep your eyes out for. Denial Ooh, been okay. looking pretty good. Is Denial caught up now in the bracket? Because I know they were no, lagging they, way behind earlier. Yeah, they still have a little bit of a delay. So we're assuming Denial will come through. It's a safe assumption. Okay. There's, there's no, there's no, no challenger? There's, there's going to be no roadblock on, on that side. It, okay. it, it would take a monumental choke. I mean, we saw Denial not... Well, they, they were playing CTF in the COD League, and I'm not sure if you, you know this, they lost 11-0. Yeah, I did. So I I, I yeah. watched them rage quit. It was fantastic. They, they rage quit seven and zero. So yeah, yeah, that was that was interesting. So if they don't run into any CTFs in the best of threes, then now should be okay. Let's just put it that way. Uh, of course, TK they lost a stunner earlier on, so that's a bit of an upset. We could potentially see a stunner versus Phase the quarterfinal. There, they're all the games really going on the bottom side of the bracket. See Justice there with. Um, 250 to 96, yeah. blowout over Elevate. Who is the player who did the damage? It looks like Classic going to finish with the highest score. But as I mentioned, you know, this is a team just very even across the board. Everyone going positive a few. Let's switch over to Envy. Full screen, though, as we switch our audio to Clayster's game. 3-0 in favor of Rise currently in game number three. Envy looking for a solution. 25 seconds left in this round, Clay. Just, just playing it casual. Just got a teammate right behind him. No bomb planted yet. And you can watch see that's what Envy's sides. playing for. I feel if it's B, they may cry. That's what Merc's saying. Oh, Merc calls on bomb. I love being able to hear how the, uh, the players are communicating. Clay just needs to pick up, and that's an easy round win. And Envy need to build upon that. Fuck it, they do, because, you know, 3-0 yeah, down in Terrace. Check that corner, did you? you get out of control very quickly, as we saw with the Optic Nation game. The chat having some arguments over who is the weaker team <laughs> Who's the, the weaker bracket. team? Every, everyone kind of taking shots at Optic Nation. We got a few people like Flame and Cat. <laughs> what are they saying? He's saying they're more like the bench of Optic Gaming. Damn. Smiley face. Ooh. And he hit them with a smiley face, too. Wow. Like you don't call no world champion a bench player. A two-time world champion. Two-time. Karma two ring. I was talking about TV, but we'll talk about Karma two ring if you want. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's an interesting dilemma. We can continue that debate another day. Yeah. We've, we've spoken a lot about that. And you see on the right-hand side of your screen now, the other game which is going on, SB Prof. versus Prof. They're in uplink comeback right now. And it seems like Prof... 4-0 down. I'm going to assume that's round one. I have to say, man, I love what SB has been doing this week. They're not in the pro league, but that does not stop their drive or their practice schedule. They've been grinding every single day, playing in the GB Live tournaments, which kick off at 3 p.m. Yep. They won the first three. I didn't get an answer on whether or not they won our Thursday, but I, I don't I think I, would have, I saw anyone that could take them down. I would, I would, I would think they, they did as... Get some on some scores. Nice play there from uh, Parasite with the two points. Parasite getting it done. Oh, and actually SB took game one. Oh, so, shit. <laughs> SB ain't the messing around. Problems. They ain't messing around whatsoever. And we could potentially see quite a lot of upsets in this round three. Uh, and, and not have the quarterfinals that I'm we I'm looking at Envy, man. Envy's struggling. Clay under heavy fire in the middle of the map. One V or one to four with three people up here for Envy. This is a very important round as well. They don't want it to go to a one and five. Rise, pretty talented uh, search and destroy team as well. As more kills go down, Clayston needs to pick that one up. Nice. Does, Ooh, but traded. he immediately gets traded, and that now leaves one of his teammates all by himself. I think it's going to be a couple more players alive too. It's nameless, and he has to defuse that bomb as well, Chris. It's weird. I couldn't even read Nameless's card from here, but I, I knew from his play style <laughs> that was him with the naked bow. And you can see him just patiently waiting for this player over at the B bomb site. 
needs to be quick because that time is ticking. He's got 15 seconds left, and now he's just going to be he's left forced. with no choice. He has to go for that defuse. Whoever that is that was last alive has played that so well. Well, that's a fantastic win. Oh, Nameless knows there's nothing you can do. That's that's unbelievable play for Envy's him. going he out, man. Rise is moving on. I feel it. One more round. Rise, they're going to be able to lock it up here. Rise versus the now quarterfinal. Of course, that could potentially set up. Meanwhile, on the right-hand side, yeah, I can hear Ricky and uh, Parasite getting a little bit loud over there. They were... A little bit Owen, loud. 0-4 oh down. Yeah, that's my poor impression. You like? You like? It's nice. <laughs> It's very nice. Six to three. Still in favor of SB. Of course, SB 1-0 up in that series as well. So lots of games going on right now. Pucket as well. Optic Gaming. They're going to take on a wear in the first quarterfinal match. Back. So we will let... Uh, Can we listen updated. in with Parasite? You want to listen in with Parasite? Let me make life a little easier on you. I couldn't get there in time, and I killed them finally, and you guys all got pinched. Let's go. These are so fucking bad. Watch, I'm watching our immediate push flank. He's not on this side. We're on good side now. He's glass stunned. Right, Let's go. He's on this wall. Two of them. They're going the ball. They threw it. They threw it. They threw it. They threw it. I'm building. I'm building. The ones are looking glass. Two, two. It's two on ball. Two on ball. Green. All right, Ben. We Green. are in the last round with Envy. So wanted to hear what Parasite was saying to the guys during that break. But we're down 50 seconds left. Bomb in the hands of Envy. Looks like Merc going for that plant. Does he have cover? See that bomb? Does get planted. It's going to be Merc who planted it. Placed uh, unfortunately already down this round. That and nameless once again, again. We see, yeah, once again, we see players just watching those sides. Nameless isn't going to see anyone on the bomb. Had to check it. Merc covering his back. 29 seconds left. Time is ticking. Placed looks kind of nervous. Merc's going to win Merc. that one gun fight. That was against Chino. They should have this round one. Staying alive. Envy fighting. Uh, Merck getting it done, picks up nice. both of the final two kills. Envy stays alive on offense. Can they make it five straight rounds? That is one. And as you see, once again on the right hand side, six to three. Prophecy trying to come back and they're playing on the easy side now. Did Parasite just missed that though? I think he did, didn't he? Yeah, it might have been just short or something. I don't know if he got killed as he was trying to throw it. That was unfortunate. But that looked like a clear, clear one point shot. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to connect with it. So SB have three and a half minutes to try and hang on. Of course, these are best of three games right now. Overclock so. stem. Ball misses again. Wow. Oh, snapshot okay. from Clay. Yeah, off the break. Did Clay get the kill there? It looks no. like just hit markers, and then he challenged in the pool. Just desperately surging forward, and he's going to be cleaned up right away. So that is a bad start for Envy. More players dropping. I believe this is now a one on three. We'll see if uh, Mr. Merck can stay alive. He's not going to be able to. And Envy's out. Envy crash out. Wow. So that sets up Rise. That's a top 16 a finish for Envy, right? Yeah, that would be. That's pretty unexpected for them as players. I don't think they would have expected that at, at all. Looking at today's bracket as uh, Prof do manage to connect with more points. They're now two-point game with two and a half minutes still to go. Okay. Prophecy trying to stay alive. SB putting the pressure on. They're going to run it green. I'm cutting bottom mid just in case. I have bottom mid, someone watch. Top sandbag, they're all coming green, guys. Ricky's on, Ricky's on pinch. They're in green with the ball. Uh oh. oh jump, top green, jump top green. Well then. Throw it out. 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 And Ben, if you can, look through and see if we can find uh, any more matches. I want to see if Optic has started their battle versus Aware. We have no more armor left for Parasite. He's got plenty of cover, though. Two players watching his back as he goes for the jam. That ties it up at six apiece. Nice play there from Parasite. As as we mentioned, the only quarterfinal that we have going on right now is Optic Gaming versus Aware. I'm going to find out if that game started. In fact, yeah, Stunner and Phase. That is the other quarterfinal confirmed. So we'll see if uh, we can get into that game as well. But this prof game, Pucket, getting a little bit close right now. Getting a little scary. Prophecy has three players pushing in their base. The ball coming in as well. Parasite doing a great job getting it out, getting the play ball just before getting cleaned up from behind. So clutch play coming from this Prophecy squad. It's Ricky now transitioning over to watch the new satellite. Uh, neither of the quarterfinals actually underway right now. So Good. we'll be able to hop into some of those. Everyone sat in the lobby just taking some time. Who, who's FaZe going to be playing? So FaZe plays Stunner. 
phase plays yeah, st Stunner in our bottom bracket. TK, of course, earlier on. Meanwhile, nice. Aware will play Optic Gaming at the very top, where Ooh. you're seeing this is our our second to the bottom quadrant. Prophecy down one versus Strictly Business, and yeah. they'll play against who? Uh, the winner of Justice versus Elevate. Now, Justice completely dominated that game number one. In fact, I'm going to see if I can uh, yeah. find someone in that game and jump straight into that one. I'm going to assume Justice is going to take that too well, though, with, with how... So dominant they were. As oh, prophecy ties it up. Eight, eight. Last thirty seconds though, Chris. This is where it can get a little bit scary because someone with SB has that satellite drone too. Boom, bada boom, 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 bada boom, 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 boom. No, you went one, two, boom, bada boom. Uh, we we have a little bit of a little bit of lag. Apologize for that, guys. Yep, I'm here, Ron. What's uh? Oh, there it is. Fixed. Streams streams back. Eight, eight. Twenty five seconds. Can they do it? Uh -oh. I think. Tomorrow, I think. This uh oh! Did he just get played? Just 14 seconds. If he wins that gun fight, oh, he's not gonna. That was Neslo with a huge two-piece bottom mid. That's gonna keep that satellite drone there, and I think SB are playing for overtime right now with three seconds left. Everyone playing passive. That drone will reset anyway. So that game goes to overtime. Meanwhile, I actually have the Justice game. Open as well. They're in comeback uplink as well. Justice up three to two. Uh, I think this game has just started. It could actually be the second side. I'm sure. Actually, no. Yeah, it is round two of two. So Justice, they move on to the better side, and we'll see if they can try and pick things up in that game. All right, three two here for Justice. On the opposite side, overtime action here for Prophecy. They must win this round in order to stay alive in the tournament. Of course, overtime in uplink, only three minutes, as opposed to the five that you see in CTF. So if Parasite can get this, this is going to be massive. He's going to go from downtown. I think that's actually going to connect by oh, the interception. No, this is even better. He's Doesn't got matter. the jam now. There you the, go. The interception two-piece into a jam doesn't get much better than that. That was... That was a nice play right there from Parasite. Managed to pick up those kills too. And uh, that's a very short amount of time now SB have to, to really play with at this point. Meanwhile, the Justice game, five to two with three and a half minutes left. Justice look in full control of that game. Uh, they're of course one out up against that Elevate, but back on that prof on the right hand side of your screens, 10 seconds left. All they need to do is defend from a two point play for 10 more seconds, it looks like they're going to be able to do it. And that, of course, will take it to a game three as Parasite cleans up that kill. Nicely played from him. Very solid stuff. Parasite doing a great job in that final moment. I want to see the final kills, though. How well did Ricky play? He was doing a great job of communicating throughout that game for the squad. And you can see Parasite 31, and Ricky finishing 31. top of the scoreboard for the team. But it, once again, Prophecy, another squad that they just get it done as a team effort. Yep. No real star slayer on that roster. Yeah, and that's what makes this team so effective, I feel. But we'll wait for that game three to get underway as well. We are. I'm going to start game one. With, yeah, I was going to say up to gaming versus away. That game about to kick off. We're going to have to Detroit. Hard point for that. Looking at the game on the, on the left hand side, that this Justice Elevate game. I think it's fair to say Justice are winning this one with the momentum of the game. We'll keep it up throughout this match. Uh, we'll go at least for the important portions of the game. Ron, you keep an eye on that. In the meantime, let's jump into the action. Aware going up against Optic Gaming. Aware with a fill-in today. Facento replacing their fourth Lawless. Optic Gaming has the full lineup. And we're going to start things off with their lead slayer, Crim6, brought in for one reason. And one reason alone, that is to slay here in the new title. We'll see if Awak can try and pick up two wins against the Optic franchise today. I think it's going to be tough playing without Lawless. We'll see, I'm playing with Facento. They've done well to make it to the quarterfinal stages, but I honestly think that's where their road could potentially come to an end. Optic Gaming had relatively easy runnings up until now, so this is their first big challenge in this bracket. Yeah, and you can't sleep on aware. That's one thing I think everyone learned. Uh, right. However, Optic Gaming has a phenomenal track record against aware. We saw them 3-0 aware back at the finish of the 10K. Uh, haven't had to match up on LAN against this squad, but if they did, I think even then 
off the game is going to be pretty confident any time they match up. I would, I would agree, especially the, the, the new up the game with all the slaying power that they have. Uh, speaking of slaying power, Krim, as you mentioned, you know, great play. He started off pretty strong. Unfortunately, he does fall formal. Pretty slow start by his standards. He'll pick things up very quickly, but just we'll have a flick through all the plays. I want to see exo ability wise. What's the variation we're seeing? Because we've seen some interesting things develop. Let me do that once uh, Nade Shot dies. Right. If Nade Shot <laughs> ever dies, <laughs> he's amazing. Oh, uh, you got that overclock and camo. Yeah, he, he is out of cloak. That's burnt through. Same thing with his overclock. So he's out of exos here. It's all up to his ASM1. And he's going to go down. Going over to Scumpy. Scumpy running with Stim overclock. Interesting combination here for his hardpoint loadout. As we take a look at his equipment, he's going fast hands. Uh, suppressor, toughness, lightweight. So just four perks there. And I'm trying to see what was he going for nades. Is he running any nades? Doesn't look like Nope. It doesn't look like he's running anything. And on the left-hand side of your screen, they see Justice just close out that game. 9-3, to three, swift 2-0 victory for them. That puts them in the quarterfinals. So. So that prop SB match is huge. Because yeah, that's so. going to determine who plays Justice in our quarters. Of course, that's uh, going to be going on in the background. We'll keep you guys updated. But now back to the full screen of the Optic Gaming game. And uh, Optic starting pretty pretty well, but very close. Fair play to Aware. I'm watching Aware, man. They just got four straight kills. Happy looking so solid. And accuracy has been on so far this game. He's leading the team at 10 and 9. And I've said it multiple times. Accuracy is the X factor for this squad. When he plays well, they win. Currently, he's doing a great job of slaying, uh, letting his teammates worry about that objective time. We'll see Facento on your screens now, who's playing the relatively well. Uh, had a pretty poor down. respawn the first time. So maybe a little bit of pressure on him now more so than before. And that was Nate Shot and Krim picking up back-to-back -back two pieces, guys. So uh, pretty nice job from Optic pushing out of the hard point. They're going to leave Krim 6 inside the garage. Everyone else is going to rotate here on your mini-map. Let's see how Optic plans to break this setup. Looks like they're going to send two down the mid alley. Nade shot working with Scumpy. Down goes Nade up to Scump. Scump gets two. That's going to break it for Formal. Formal trying to chase in. Won't be able to get it done. And we're going to see Krim attacking from the window as Nade shot jumps in with Camo, but a great hold from Aware. Yeah, this is big time for Aware as well. As that hard point time is slowly starting to decrease, players just sort of slaying around the outside. And that's exactly what you want to do. As Pacento just being left on this hard point to try and pick up as many kills as he possibly can, but the charge is going to come in now. He will go down. Scumpy breaks that hill with the help of Chrome 6, but accuracy around the outside trying to put a web back on there. It's only a 10 point game right now, Puckett, so still very, very close. Yeah, Optic with a nice break, aware trying to take it back. There are 20 points left on this hard point, so a big chunk of time that you just simply can't ignore. Pacento going to fall happy, last man standing, just spraying from his. Prone position is going to pick up one. They're taken down, though. Optic breaking the setup. And now it's going to be a battle of who rotates first. You see Aware set up in the school. Uh, we'll see the first push coming with Happy watching this opening street. But it's really going to be Sender who has to lock this down. He can't get it done. Yeah, Aware rotated pretty effectively there as well. So I'm going to be pretty annoyed that Optic Gaming have broken that with under 10 seconds. Big play really came from Happy not able to clean up that first kill. Uh, the Optic Gaming player jumking through the window, so he got a little bit unfortunate on that. Is Happy from around the outside, desperately trying to make something happen for his team. Yeah, you can just see the slang difference. Krim coming in, 21-16, plus 5. He's worked with Nade Shot, who's positive 2. Formal, only negative 1 at negative 1. And, I mean, Krim breaking through has really been the story with his ASM1. He is not missing anything, supporting every kill here in the school. Krim? Unfortunately, not able to pick up any more kills. It's Nate shot. Again, he falls. So, Aware doing a really good job of keeping this close. Again, you know, playing with that laws is definitely going to affect him. But for Sento, 14 and 17, make that 15 and 17. He's been doing a great job on those hard points. And Ooh, how, many, shot. how many defends has Happy got? Uh, sorry, has uh, Facento got? That, that's what I'm curious to find out. He's three to three. Three defense. So, yeah, the most defense in the game. And honestly, it's been showing just by the way he's been playing. You like the way Facetto's playing. I like it, man. You know, he's basically said, all right, guys, you do you. You run around in the hard point. You slay. I'm just going to lie in the hard point and pick up the kills when I need to. I, I have to say, I feel like this might be Optics host uh, watching Nade Shot and Krim. They're shooting very smooth right now, melting with well, the ASM ones. They're the highest seed. So, I would, in fact, oh, do you know what I am curious about? If this goes to best of fives. Let me check that real quick. 
Yeah, normally in the quarterfinals, that's where we do allow yep. them to expand to a best of five, so. Best of five as well in this game. So we'll see some Hot Point Detroit, S&D Riot, CTF Retreat, Uplink Biolab, and then some Search and Destroy on Recovery if it goes the distance. Now I'm starting to notice this more and more, Detroit, where we used to think that first hard point was kind of just some scrap time, very hard to lock it down. I'm starting to see teams get sizable chunks right. uh, on the scoreboard. So Optic Gaming doing a great job keeping Nade Shot alive in that last hard point. They're gonna pull away by 37, but Aware trying to battle it back. This green hard point caused them some problems the first rotation. We'll see how they're able to handle it this time around. It's gonna be up to Happy to break. He's gonna get two. Inside, third player comes in and he's gonna sh get shut down, but accuracy is here to keep the clock going. So much pre-fire coming in from Happy, and you see actually work on his favor quite quite a lot there. That capture column as well, telling a bit of a story for, for Sento and Sender, desperately trying to keep themselves on those hard points. But again, just more defense Ooh. really needed from this aware team. And that was formal causing problems, keeping aware outside. Now it's Scumpy with the two-piece, going for the three. That is three straight kills, cleaning up the injured player that was Happy. And Scumpy gonna lock down the final five seconds on this hard point, still holding on by a 25 point lead. Aware needs to step it up come this garage. Last time, this is where Optic really got a full 40 uh, of the 60 seconds available. And going into that last hill as well, Optic had a 45 point lead. So Aware have done well to, again, to keep themselves within touching distance, but that seems to be the, the kind of the story of this game so far. Aware in touching distance of Optic. They need to be able to hold down a big chunk of time and bring themselves into a position where they can go into the lead. Happy picks up the camo player. Center trying to break in, gets one, looking for the second pre-fire on the ramp. No player there. It's Nade Shot from behind. Nade Shot's gonna fall though. Scumpy trying to get in with Crim6. As it looks like Facento inside is gonna be the last man standing for aware. He's dropped Optic back in as Formal breaks through the window. I see Crim and Scump both on that hill. Scump already 33 kills, so <laughs> it's just still two minutes left to play. He could potentially be dropping 40 or so, but up to gaming now, starting to build a sizable lead once again. Nade Shot lost his protection on this right side, does the damage anyway. That was a stim player. He cleaned up accuracy for the two piece. One more challenging from the left. Happy breaks in. Aware must go clutch. Just a minute, 40 seconds left, 100 seconds left of gameplay. They're down by 35. See, Happy just sitting on that hill, needs to pick up those kills, but unfortunately, in goes a while. Crim6 with Stim. He's able to pick up two kills. Nade Shot pushes off the hill and up to gaming again. Looking very good to pick up this first map against Awa. Switching over to Scumpy's point of view, you can see all four players from Aware pushing from the hallway. Scumpy trying to get back in the action, coming off the respawn, so is Krim6. Krim goes down, Scumpy now from the opposite direction, cleans up two, looking for the third inside the doorway, will get turned on. And it looks like Nade Shot and friends are just gonna keep funneling in, trying to stop Aware from scoring. The hill rotating in five seconds. They know it. Center knows that their opponents are set up in the school first. This is looking like it's lights out for Aware in game number one. Optic Gaming pulling away. It's now 45 seconds away from being official. And all Optic need to do here is contest, and they're going to know that. They don't even need to pick up the kills. They can just keep running at that hard point. Cloak and Stim is using formal just do right there. Run straight in. Cloak really put some pressure on Aware. Happy trying to get themselves level in this game, but they all go down. Scumpy on the half point center knows he needs to make a play. He falls in all four plays from up to gaming just on there. And again, it just comes down to contesting the hill at that point. And they got it. Score officially in favor of Optic Gaming here for game number one. They're gonna finish with a score of about 230 to 194 as Aware tries to break in in the final moments. Looking at the scoreboard though, who was your star player, Ben? Star player? I mean, you've got Scump and Nade, both with 40 kills. You've got to give them some, some serious props. But for me, it was just the way that they played that, as opposed to an individual. It seemed very smart. You know, whenever one player was on the hill, didn't matter who it was, everyone else pushed off. I and mean, we saw Nature do that a fair few times in that game and, and go for the kills around the outside. No commercial break, guys. We're going to throw it over to Parasite and the rest of this Prophecy crew. They're in game number three versus Strictly Business, tied up 2-2 in their search and destroy Prophecy back on the attack with Parasite carrying our bomb. And as well as that, we actually have Attach's perspective on that right-hand side, too, and that's the... They're playing Momento, man. That's a pub. Yeah, Come on, Ron. Ron, you're noobing Come it up, on. man.
Rolling. You're better than this. <sighs> That's twice today, Rowan, man. I'm keeping track. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Ron. Yeah, we love you, We're kind of kidding. Well, no food for you today. No food. No food. Starveron.com. <laughs> <laughs> Scary thing is that could actually be a website. Uh, Fifty seconds left in there. There's starving kids in New York City. Who's <laughs> Ron? Fireside's gonna plant that bomb. And again, you know this this game we saw Prof actually go one zero down in the series in the best of five SB coming out looking pretty hot. But Prof versus SB in search and destroy. How do you overall see that play out? Because we've seen SB, especially in the S and D only GB lives that we've casted, they've just dominated. Yeah, Prof, um, they've been inconsistent for me. Sometimes going to round 11s, other times finishing 6-0, 6-1. So I don't know what to predict here. I think SB is the the stronger squad. Really, a team with the backbone on the S and D side of things, but you're going to see here very close game. Neslo getting there a second late, he's going to blow up. So, three two in favor of this prof squad. Outside, just breathing a bit of a sigh of relief there. Yeah, he's like, I didn't die. It's all good. Don't worry. There wasn't enough time. Of course, wait for an invite into map number two of that Optic Gaming versus Aware. Optic Gaming 1-0 up in that quarterfinal. Uh, Rise, sorry, FaZe versus Stunner. We are waiting the result of that. The winner of this game will go on to play Justice. Or, yeah, the winner of, of this Prof game, Prof SB, yep. they play Justice in the quarterfinal as well. And Ron, you're getting me that match, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Ron, yeah. He's getting me that good stuff. Getting all those games. Still, Prof. Perspective on your screen right now is. Just gave me a crazy look. Look at the crazy. Look at the crazy. You know that's easy. Look at the look. You're awful. I know. I'm a terrible human being too. Uh, looks like our game number two will be on a riot between Optic Gaming and Aware. Optic with that nice 1-0 start after Detroit. Right, interesting map for SND. What do you think? Uh, what is your favorite SND map to watch after seeing Advanced Warfare for a full month? Hmm. To watch, I love Terrace because of the snipes that you see, especially when you're watching a player like, for example, Sender, or if, if he can hit some some nasty snipe, that's always fun. Um, I like Biolab as well. I feel like not a lot of, of people really do. But for me, I, I, I like the decisions that you have to make straight off the break. It's one of those maps where I feel if you play it slow, it isn't going to favor you whatsoever. If you're decisive and you make a decision and you go for it, then you should be all good. All right. I see you. Prof about to go 4-2 up in their game uh, as well. Games going on elsewhere. Still waiting for that phase stunner game to actually start. Been keeping my eye on that one. Denial. They're still trying to fight their way through. Of course, we just saw a Tatch actually playing in a pub. So whether that means that the bracket has updated and they're officially going to be playing Rise, we will find out very, very soon. The Optic Gaming versus Aware game still in the lobby. Primstix has gone to broadcast the mode. I assume he's having a, a restroom break. Restroom break? Yeah, bathroom break. He's doing his hair? I mean, Crim's hair does look fabulous, so it, it requires a lot of work. Speaking of hair, did you see Doug Martin's Dude, hair today? what there? happened to Sent? Did he, like, just, like, shave all of his hair off? I mean, he looks very strange bald. He kind of looks like an alien. He probably just finished his legs, and then he figured to do the rest of his I, I feel like that has to be, like, the guys at FaZe giving him a hard time for not eating a hot dog before. Like, he's definitely, there's, there's been some kind of forfeit involved. Forfeit. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I've been uh, checking Twitter over the past couple of days, but is this going to be five two? Look, all four members of Prophecy still up. They got the bomb down at B for a second time as well. So their offense looks on point here on Terrace. Parasite knows he's there as well. Just needs to waste some time. Play coming from behind too. I think that's actually Nesla who's killed Fizz, and uh -oh. Parasite didn't actually turn around. That was called out to him, too. So Ricky now just desperately trying to stay alive. There's going to be two plays down on that bomb site. Needs to be careful because someone could be defusing. Ricky's going to go down. Fizz up with a two piece. And just like Four, that, Prof throw away that four man advantage that he just had there as uh, that bomb is going to be defused. They had all four players up. They get the bomb down. 40 seconds left, and they get broken for a player going around the flank. Good flank. Was it Neslo? Fizz came from the front. So I think it would be uh, Neslo coming from, from the rear. Fears on prophecy. 
Hmm? It's a Nezla. Yeah, I yeah, don't want to push A with me. Like, push a with me? Uh, yeah. Am I not enunciating? No, you guys, I think. You think? We'll forgive you. Okay. Um, I was confused and I was like, what? Prof on defense now. Parasite trying to meet the rush down at the bottom A. Meanwhile, you see, yep, there is gunfire <laughs> being exchanged. I'm looking at the the arrows in the background, though. What kind of support does Parasite have, and, and how aggressively is he going to play this? Oh, he has zero support. He's just trying to <laughs> stay alive at this point, I feel. He's going to get challenged from behind, and if he can just win one fight, then that would have been massive for his team just to be able to trade it himself, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do so. Good clean up. Ricky, <laughs> nice play from him. Cleans up one, but wasn't able to find the second. All right, and this is the third time that we're loading in. Scumpy, will you load in for round number one? Scumpy gets in, and here we go. And we'll throw over to the, the dual screen action because it's prof game. All right, no, we'll just go straight over to the OY oh, game. I see you, Ron. Never mind. Never mind. There we go. Thanks, Ron. That game's just really close. I want to see yeah, how it ends. Yeah, of course you do. I I'm just saying. I think the fans do as well, Good. so thank you for that. I, I, I do what I can, Puckett. Uh, happy with our bomb. Very slow play at the start. Is going to find first blood on a defender. In a vulnerable position in the middle, though, but it doesn't seem to matter. Scumpy, last man standing, is going to have to stop the one-on-three bomb making its way to B. He's spotted, even though he's got the cloak on, and... A good first round from Aware, who takes offense. Meanwhile, you see Neslo in back-to-back -back round. Any kill cams, 4-4 four, four between Prof and SB. Yeah, it's getting a little bit scary that for Prof, I feel, because they had such a big lead. They could have closed it out as well in that one round where they managed to get that bomb down at B. All full play is still alive. And unfortunately, they allowed themselves to get broken by SB so quickly. Fizz with the two-piece and Neslo coming from behind, cleaning things up, of course. Uh, on the right-hand side, they're up to gaming game, up to gaming, winning that first map of Hardpoint Detroit. So they're looking pretty good in a solid position. They just need to make sure they don't do anything silly in the search and destroy, and they should be good to advance to the semifinals of the 2K. Nade shot with some badass 360s at the start of this round. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got some YYs in there. Woo -woo. Give me a ladder stall. Oh, yeah. A no-scope. Stall that ladder. We Gucci. And Scumpy going to see the first opponent. He is going to chase it down. Sender with the Morso takes out Formal. Three on three. I saw a Sender with that sniper rifle. Dude, Sender's the freaking man. I think he game. may be the best competitive sniper, as in... Let me, let me rephrase Most that. efficient. The, the best sniper rifle player in competitive Call of Duty. I don't want the, the competitive snipers coming out and saying, Dude, I'm so much better than Sender. I don't miss my 1080 no scopes. Yeah. yeah. Look at my montage. I do have montages. Dude, Here we got Nate shot going for the bomb. Happy with a yeah. big kill. He's got 30 Push seconds left. Is you can also hear Parasite and friends. You know what? Let's go ahead and bail from this optic game to watch the final round potentially of Prophecy versus SB, Ricky and Parasite going over some last second strategy. 5-4 overall in favor of Prof. Prof on defense as well. All they need to do is play this wisely. You saw Parasite last time he went towards this A site. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get trade his own death. He was had to play a one shot. A little bit unfortunate, and they're anticipating SB going A. But the one thing I love about SB is they're not afraid of changing things up. As you see, Fizz get that first blood on legal parasite, desperate to trade it, and luckily get some help there from Ricky. Ricky making promises too. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like this is going to be prophecy's round. Uh oh, parasite. They've been promised. Parasite getting a little aggressive there. Cleaned up through the doorway. Shots coming in from his teammates though. Fears cleaning up on the flank. You still have Ricky up as well. It looks like. Pushing him. Pushing this is going to be a two versus two situation here. <clears throat> Ricky and Fizz alive for Prof. Ricky turns Fierce around. Is so good right now. Where did he Pre go though? Aiming wherever the opponents might be coming from, getting shots in first. Ricky's going to answer back. Now a two on one in favor of Prophecy. One round away from knocking out SB. No, we're in a good. Twenty-eight seconds left. And there and it is. It. Nicely played. Fears going big in your round ending kill cam will be the final kill of the game as Prophecy advances to a round of eight. They will be playing justice. And that is going to be one hell of a match. We're going to try and get into that action as quick as we can. But right now, let's go back to Optic Gaming. You see the score 2-1. It's in favor of our Sentinel squad aware. Down one game in the best of five, trying to answer back. And I want to start things off with this set, uh, with Sender and his defensive sniper rifle. See if Sender can try and get some more picks. <laughs> Seems every round we don't watch him, he does get those sniper picks. And, oh, I love it. Hover. Oh, you sneaky man, you. You hard-stalling mother duck. Is he, is he going to be using over, overcharge? 
Can you just slide to the left real quick? Let me, let me, no. He spotted though. Uh oh. <sighs> you're, you're an evil man, Chris. Why? Because I want to see if he's using overcharged. Why? Because I want to see how long he can hover there for. Okay. Doesn't matter, Chris. I'm, I'm going to show the action instead. You cool with that? What? It would have taken you two seconds. And interesting, you actually can't shoot through that fence too. Yeah. That's some intel. Formal tried and unfortunately was not able to do so. It looks like the first time he ever saw it. It, it really did, right? He's like running along Ooh. the road, looks up, he's like, wait a minute. All right, 2-2 two, two, Optic Gaming coming back. Tying it up. Ben's going to be looking through for some of our other matches. Of course, we're going to be trying to get into Justice versus Prophecy. Also at the bottom of our bracket as we go for the refresh uh, phase. Waiting to see who they're going to face off against. I believe it's going to be Stunner. And that matchup, we'll give you an update on that in just a bit. And Rise still waiting to see who they will play in their portion of the bracket. We're going back into the action this time through the eyes of Nade Shot. Tie game 2-2. Two, two. On board with the defenseman. Nade Shot with a Moors watching the right side. Happy though. Picks up first blood over at A. And Nade Shot's gonna have to rotate after Facento takes down Krim. It's already two kills in this round. Nade Shot using that cloak. That's the ASM one out there as well. Just trying to be. Cautious as he makes his way around. Of course, the bomb planted a while ago, so they're just gonna have to make him play pretty quick. Scump picks up accuracy, and unfortunately, that now leaves Scumpy in a one on three. We'll see if Happy can try and hunt down Scump and pick up this round for a while. Uh, there was a player to Scump's left. And we're gonna see Scumpy not able to get it done. He's gonna be chased down three to two in favor of Aware. Once again, it's Happy in your round ending kill game. Shots coming in from Happy, five and two to kick things off for him. Of course, that's a three two advantage too. That denial versus rise game. Let's give you an update on that. That's about to get underway, so it hasn't started just yet. So that is the other quarterfinal. So all four quarterfinals now 100% confirmed. Of course, Optic Gaming versus Aware, the game that you're currently looking at right now. Justice versus Prophecy. That game about to get underway as well. Son of Us' Phase and Rise versus Denial. We were giving Sensor some shit earlier on the broadcast, just joking about his new haircut. Uh, got a tweet that he is doing it in support of his cousin who has cancer. So good guy Sensor. Oh, nice. Once again, doing something great. I love Sensor. Showing the support. You got to. I yeah. wonder how, if he's raising how much money he's raised. I have no idea. Uh, shots coming in from behind, <laughs> and we're going to see Facento and Happy left alive here for aware. Bomb in the hands of Scump as he's working with Formal trying to get this one down. Scump going to pick up Happy. So now he's got a easy entry over to the A bomb site. The last man standing on defense is Facento, who did just get eyes on Formal jumping up top on the roof. <clears throat> Scump with that bomb needs to try and get it down. You see that on the minimap. Scump and Formal playing very close. Of course, Facento, the pickup for this aware team, currently 6 and 2, doing a great job. He's checked that. B site, so now boosting over towards A, and if he can just get that kill on the bomb carry, he should be set. Sees him up top. Actually missing a couple of shots. That's going to be formal, too. He goes for the boost uh -oh. jump. Needs to be careful. Need some bullets in your gun before you challenge. Uh-oh. I think he's I think he's choked this. So yeah, Scumpy coming back to help formal. 3-3 three, three optic, keeping it tight here on Riot. They're going to win another one on the attack. That was a little bit unfortunate. A little bit. A little bit. Right there is formal. Does Optic win this up. game? Yeah. Formal just grabbed his first kill, I want to point out. Yeah. He was on the donut cam before that. Yeah. Optic wins this. Okay. It's a, it's a wear without the full Do they full have 3-0? If a wear had Lawless, then I, I may say no. I, I may be inclined to say I mean, that potentially... The villain's second best on the right, team right now. But I, I'm thinking about respawn. Mm. For me, that's where Facento... Don't get me wrong. He's doing a great job as a villain. And as you said at the very start, you know he has been playing with this aware team as well. But I just feel Lawless had so much to that team. I, I, I really do. But up the game, he should be set to take this. Scumpy. Potentially 3-0, if not 3-1. Scumpy grabbing first blood with the headshot here. Accuracy trying to figure out a way in. Krim comes from behind. Krim taking down shots. We're going down from Sender as he picks up his second kill for Aware. And Scumpy trades right back. Sender now in a one on two. Let's see what he can do. He's got Nate Shot and Scump left up for Optic Gaming, and right around this corner, it's actually below him. Sender is going to find Scumpy. Oh, he's right behind him if he turns left. Sender. Does he kill? 
Now one on one. Nate shot versus Sender. Nate shot way, way, way. Yeah, Nate shot wisely is going to wait to react after this bomb is planted. Not going to contest or put himself in a vulnerable position until then. And he's got the right inkling. Bomb going down at A. Sender's going to have the advantage here. After getting this down, he'll have plenty of time to set up on defense. Sender's just going to chill out and fire, it seems. Just take his time here. He has all the time in the world. He's uh -oh. just going to see Nate Wins it. That's going to be four rounds to three now. Nate shot just didn't even well. seem ready right there. That was centered feel, through and through. I feel like he waited just a little bit too long at the very back there. After he sort of moved tensively towards B. But just want to check that A bomb site. Nate shot did get some bullets yeah, off, but of course those were hitting right in front of Sender on that box. So aware pulling away once again. Every time they've done it so far, Optic answers back on the following round. Nate shot will be going for our bomb carry as Scumpy and Krim will be looking for first blood once again. Nate shot normally waits for his team to push up first. This time he's going to lead in and watch the middle cutoff. Nade's coming in. One going to hit Scump, giving up their position. Crim6 with Cloak on, going to be pushing up. There was a sniper pegging up and down in the back. It's Sender. Crim looking for him. Here comes Sender, and Crim's going to win it. The Sento and Accuracy now, two on three. Nice win from Scumpy. And that leaves Accuracy now all by himself, one on three against Scump, Krim, and Formal. And Scump and Krim have been phenomenal, man. I mean, they right. both open up seven and five. They have three kills between the two of them in this round. Last two alive, all up against Accuracy. This is Optic Gaming's round. Formal, one and seven. We're still on that breadstick hype. Nate shot two and seven. But really, not much more you can do when your teammates are taking that many kills. Nine and five, eight and five. Oh, accuracy, top, and the drop down. Oh. I feel like he's going to have heard that. Pre oh, hey, you. Yep. <laughs> That's going to be all tied up one more time. Can't do a double take in Call of Duty. You'll get melted as we see here in the kill cam from Scumpy. Scumpy set up. Immediately reacts by holding down that R trigger. Finishes out the kill. One of the other quarterfinals has just actually begun. Denial versus Rise. They're playing some hardpoint on Detroit. That game has literally just started. So we'll keep you updated on that. But for now, 4-4 here on Search and Destroy Riot. Aware versus Optic Gaming. Sender pulls out the sniper rifle. Looking for the pick. He's going to get it. Oh, oh he, he does not seem... Oh, he doesn't see Scumpy hovering up top. Oh! Kills nice headshot right there. Does Scumpy answer back? I love Hover Cloak. That's such a nasty combo. Accuracy. Inching up with the bomb player right next to him. Shots coming down from the top, but no one dropped yet. Grenades going out. Krim has dropped down to the bottom floor. Look out for this player, though, right around the corner. That's Nade Shot, who's going to run into accuracy any moment. Accuracy gets the down. pick. This is a big round as well. And I was looking, what was Vicento doing way in the back? Just watching the team's flank, apparently, from outside. Oh, Senna doesn't see, him, doesn't see Krim to the right-hand side. And Sender actually goes down, down, but yeah, bomb planted. Someone sniping with the Atlas there. Was that for center? He just needs to be careful here. Just aim at one. Misses his shots. Oh! oh the jump shot was a no-go. Still a three on two. And the problem Optic had is if for center just stays so far back, they have to hunt him down. They know he's going to be there. And they have no idea whatsoever oh, where the rest of his teammates are. Oh, big mistake from Happy. Happy was in a great position watching the middle. Didn't check his right as he walked by, and now Facento oh, in a terrible Krim. scenario. I love that play from Krim. As soon as he fired bullets, he went straight for that bomb, but unfortunately he is going to go down. Krim was in a 1v3 that round as well, because when Krim challenged Happy mid-map, Scumpy was actually already on the defuse. So it just shows you that that duo are having a lot of confidence in themselves. Yeah. Unfortunately, Krim's wrist didn't pay off there for Facento. Like, two that on one three, slide. we got this. Yeah. Just, you, you jump on the bomb, I'll kill everyone. Don't worry about it. But unfortunately, it's going to be 5 4 now to that. Oh, sorry, to aware. Now, offense has won the last four rounds. Uh, in fact, it might have been every round so far in this game. Cannot confirm. But I want to see how does Optic answer back. For me, this is all about Scumpy. Scumpy and Krim. Because <laughs> you've got formal and nature of three kills combined.
I mean, you got straight away. That's Ooh, one. Could have been a two piece for Crimp. Scump does get the second. <laughs> I love it. They're, they just stay together and they're immediately in a position to trade. However, this is big trouble for them now because both of them are full and that leaves Nature on formal. Yeah, they're in a great position here, uh, though. Mm, accuracy, accuracy, last man standing. Actually, top of his team, but not by kills, just by score with those three plants. So, yeah, I think that, that stat of the offensive team. Should win, should continue. And there it is, nade shot. Oh, tags him up, can't finish. Calls it out the formal, formal looking. Formal should be executing, there it is. 5-5, five, five. who gets the attack? Also goes by score, so. Score. I would love to see the, the score board. Who has the highest score? Who has it, Chris? Oh my goodness. Take Look a guess, that. Christopher. Hey, did you know you could do that? Do what? I did not. No, yeah. I could drop the round and kill cam text. You didn't know that? No. Nope. Didn't do it at all during Columbus. Should have been doing it every round. Why? I like it. Do you not like it? And if you look at your scoreboard, yeah. it looks a little funky. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Pro pro moves, man. Casters are learning a, a month into the game as well. That's a production point. Of view, though. That would make it look a lot better, actually. I know. Good point, Chris. That's what I do. I think about work all the time when I'm working. <laughs> uh, Nade shot informal. <laughs> Trying to work this A site or B site, something that we haven't seen yet from Optic. Optic winning all of their attacks, it seems, so mm. far, but they are playing so passively. Do you think that's the right thing to do? No. Because as you said, they won every single attacking round doing those A pushes, unless they're maybe trying to bait out a B push and then push A one more time. But the big issue is here, Nature's going to be pushing. There's going to be a play uh, just to his left did hand side. Did you see it? No, he did it. No! Oh, oh almost gets the close. turn on. 3-3, uh, because three, three, accuracy killed Nate Shop, a formal drop. Accuracy sender going to drop Krim and Scott be taken down by Facento. All up GG. to our last man, and formal is going to get taken down, carrying the bomb. Aware answering back and winning this one. It's 1-1 one, one in the best of five. A great performance by Facento. The pickup going off here for his squad. He goes 9-6. and six, Three plants from accuracy and center going plus five 11 and six to finish out that game yeah phenomenal play coming in from aware and just talking about the other quarterfinals on the left hand side of your screens you'll see the rise versus denial game Ooh. that one actually closer than i think a lot of people may have anticipated it's 141 to 111 in favor of denial you're seeing attaches perspective as the hard points have just cycled through to the second side. All right, guys, so there is your update on the denial match. We're going to quick commercial break when we return more games live from the 2K here on MLG.TV.